Welcome back to Lone Star Roads, brought to you by the Credit Union of Texas. Y'all find us online, LoneStarRoadsTV.com. Make sure you check us out on Facebook and tailgate us on Twitter, as I like to tell you, at Lone Star Roads. Now, an opportunity like this comes along probably once in a lifetime. And since they're both here, I figured let's put them both on the couch together and let them duke it out. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Mr. Pat Green and Mr. Walt Wilkins right here. Let's take your hand. Let's take your hand. See, this is the part where I shut up and you guys just tell me all about Texas music. <laughs> because there is nothing that I could add to this conversation that you guys can't sit here and talk about for at least, what do we got, six minutes? Okay, go. <laughs> no, no. My brother was dating a girl that was sisters with the girl that he was dating 30 years ago. And uh, my brother introduced me to this song called Songs About Texas. Mm -hmm. And I learned how to play it. I was just learning how to play guitar and I girl I was dating, I told her that I wrote it. <laughs> Which of course he Was wrote this it. just now coming out? <laughs> no, 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 no he's heard this a thousand times. <laughs> exactly. You're 18 years old, whatever it takes. Right. Anyway, uh, so by, just by happenstance, uh, we went out to one of Walt's shows and he played it and talked about how he wrote it and she broke up with me that night because she knew I was lying to her and then I just said, okay, Walt, you're going to have to teach me how to write songs because I mm -hmm. can't lie anymore. <laughs> And you, and you did a pretty good job there, Mr. Wilkins. He, he didn't need any help from me. You know what? I'll tell you this, and this is all my fault because I probably did this backwards. Uh, but thank you, Pat, because, I mean, there was Walt before there was Pat. No doubt. And, but Pat was the one that introduced me to Walt. And I remember that from many, many years ago when I was at a place he, called 50, that. He, 59 he, he, 9 The Flow. I you to know, I introduced Walt to Walt, too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, you I don't know what that means. I mean, you introduced Walt to a lot of people. He did. You know? He made a huge impact in my life by doing that, by doing my songs and talking about me. Well, I think Carry On was a yeah. was <laughs> staple food for me, for sure. Right. Can, I tell, that, can yes, I tell the story please. real fast? Yeah, of course. Because I was... Pat, the first no, time. you can't tell the story. Just move on. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it real fast. Heck yes, I'll do it. you can tell the I'll story. I'll do it really fast. He came to my, I used to live in this shack in Nashville. The first time we sat down to write, we worked all day on the song that went nowhere. So we went and got some coffee. And then we came back and Pat, and he's got to fly out. He's got to fly back to Austin. It's in the afternoon. He goes, well, I got 30 minutes, you know. Uh, I got this other thing. And he plays this chorus of Carry On. I went, man, that's a, that's a smash song. That's a great song. He goes, I got this verse and this guitar lick and this chorus. I said, it seems like it's done. He goes, well, it needs another verse. I said, all right, let's each go to a corner of my house. We've got 15 minutes now. Mm -hmm. We've got about 15 feet on the and, two and corners of the house. house. I mean, <laughs> my, my, the shack I lived in, Pat will tell you, was smaller than this little area right here. I call it the spider ranch. But uh, we each go to a corner. We come back and play each other the verses, and he sings that verse with my name in it. I said, man, you can't do that. That's weird because... I'm going to be a co-writer on it, and I don't, I can't, he goes, man, it'll be cool. Right. I'm like, no. <laughs> and then, and then, and then he goes, no, he's really, you know, Pat, he's a pretty big guy telling you what, to, and I right. said, I he said, okay. over you? Yeah, and then, and then, uh, and then I'm thinking, well, who's going to hear this song anyway? A bunch of kids in Texas. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. A month later, I'm driving through East Texas on my way to play some gig, and it came on the radio. A month later, he must have gone home, recorded it, put through, I was so fast. And I, I almost went off the road, and I, was, I called Tina from Sulphur Springs or somewhere and was like, <laughs> you're not going to believe this. This song Some is Some amazing here. place with a view. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, it was, that's how it happened. And, and the rest is kind of history from there. I mean, you guys... I don't think uh, I've ever done a show yeah. that that wasn't the first song we sang that night. Right. And you were telling me not too long ago, Pat, that you would like to find a song like Carry On again. I would love that. I, it's just such a magical thing to find... A, a great piece of melody like mm -hmm. that groove is on the front half uh, and then couple it with this kind of rambling. The song really, if you look at it really intensely, it, it's three or four different stories yep. um, that don't really connect in any way other than it's just... Fortunately, no one's ever looked at it that closely. <laughs> <laughs> After six or seven beers, it sounds great. Right, it sounds yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it gets a, does it get a middle name too? That song get a middle name yeah, too, like you did. Carry F and on. Yeah. Get carry F and on. Yeah. <laughs> but if I could, yeah, if I could recapture that moment with with Walt again or with anybody, that would be fantastic. That's a good anthem. Right. Yeah. But fact. I had so little to do with the song, and Pat had it done. Oh, That's hush. true. Yeah. True story. Man, what an amazing careers both of you guys have had. Um, you know, it, it kind of goes back to you know, Pat starting 
by essentially using your name, and then you got to kind of sit there and watch him grow. Yeah, it what, was fun. What, what's your perception and the first of time, Pat? The first time I yeah. talked to him, he had recorded uh, he had recorded a couple of songs before we met. Yeah. And he called me one time before we met, and he said he wanted Rain and Lafayette. He cut Rain and Lafayette, and yeah. then songs about Texas. And then he called me in Nashville, and he goes, and I didn't know him, and he goes. Hey man, uh, it's Pat Green. I'm in Texas, and you know, I'd re he said I, we're listening to this song, and we think we want to record it, but we can't tell what word you're saying. Is it "Lonely Beehive Pain"? <laughs> <laughs> and it's a line from Ruby's Two Sad Daughters. Right? And he goes, I don't know what that means, you know. And I said, just, just sing it. Right? right? And it worked. Still, it still works. <laughs> my God, it still works. I still don't know what it means. <laughs> oh, my wife's calling. Hold on. Tell her oh, to hang on. Sorry. You know how close you guys are? You realize how close you are? Uh, about a foot and a half. No? Well, yeah, there's that. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> you just drank Walt's coffee. No, no. no. I put Walt's mine out of there. Oh, all right. Hey, we got a table, Walt. Sorry. I, you know what? I put it on the ground because I wanted uh Because you didn't TV. want Pat to drink out of it. No, I wanted to. <laughs> it was my chance to show my Chippewa boots, you know? There they are. You sponsored by Chippewa? Yeah. You, you, you need to get out. anything else in before we go to break here, Walt? Yeah. God dang, I can't, if there's one thing I can't stand, <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned from Pat, if there's one thing I've learned from Pat, sell out, Walt. <laughs> Golly, man. Golly. Say my freaking hobby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, quick break, come back. We're going to talk about uh, new music, road trips, and new places to eat and hear live music. Pat Green, Walt Wilkins, right here. You're watching Lone Star Road. Brought to you by the Credit Union of Texas. Hang in there.